welcome to this lecture. Today we are going to deal with these topics little quickly but in detailed approach. My name is Gunjan Subedi and as always I'll be guiding you in this topic with practical explanation and examples when necessary. Before starting, let me kindly remind you to subscribe to My Lean University, which is my initiative to deliver free and quality professional education to your screen. Agile roles are simply different job positions or nature of job set in Agile projects for performing different activities. There are three distinct roles as product owner, team facilitator, and a cross functional team. Note that these roles are particularly more prominent in the Scrum Agile method of project management. So now let's discuss about these roles in detail. The first role is of the team facilitator. In conventional and waterfall model of project management, this role is also called a project manager. However, there are some marked differences between the project manager role of any conventional project and team facilitator role of the agile project. The most important difference is in agile mode of project management, the facilitator plays a servant leader role. That means he is there as a leader who helps or as a facilitator rather than like a boss to ask the team members what to do next every time. Similarly, there are other names for the team facilitator such as the scrum master for the scrum mode of uh, project management. The team facilitator is also called the project team lead, team coach or the team facilitator. So these are all the different names for the team facilitator. Let us now see some of the characteristics of the team facilitator or the scrum master. The first one obviously is the leadership role and this role is a servant leadership. Please don't go with the name servant leader is simply Obeying the needs of the team and helping the team meet the requirements for the project. Team facilitator has a strong relationship with the organizational culture and people. Sometimes the external team coaches are hired in some project management uh, because of the experience, but this has a disadvantage as external coaches need time to understand the team's behavior and needs and analyze the stakeholders. The third role of the team facilitator is enabling close cooperation. They can address the resource issues and agile practices as a collaborative team. The team facilitator can also play a role of addressing the resource issues. He has to keep an eye on whether the resources available for the project is adequate. The other function of a team facilitator or a scrum master can play is the role of removing the impediments so that the team can focus on the work and follow the agile practices. The facilitator can also play a role of, of a team protection. His job is to protect the team from both the internal and external distractions. The second role in the agile project is that of product owner. Simply, he or she is the one who owns the project and to understand this role better, let's see some of the functions of the product owner. The product owners coordinate with the scrum master or she, the team facilitator that we discussed just a moment ago to get the project going. He doesn't just coordinate with the scrum master or facilitator alone, he is a spokesperson for the team as well as the customers. The second and one of the most important role that the product owner performs in the agile project is the management of the backlogs. He or she owns the product backlog and writes the user stories and acceptance criteria. The function of product owner is also to prioritize the product and decide the release date and the content of the backlog. And product owner also has the power to accept or reject the product backlog item. As we discussed, he is a spokesperson for the customers too. He brings into the backlog the user stories or those attributes that are demanded by the customers. The product owner is also responsible for return of investment or ROI of the product or the project. He or she is responsible for maximizing the return on investment by identifying the product features and putting those features into the prioritized list which decides which features need the most priority. The product owner has the responsibility of the profit or loss of the project. 
Similarly, the other function of the product owner is setting the direction for the product or the project. In Scrum, the most important feature of the project as per customer's demand is placed at the top priority of the sprint. The product owner priority and decision determines the fate of the project. Now finally, let's talk about the third role that people play in any Agile or Scrum project, which is the role of the cross-functional team. These are the collection of the individuals working together to develop and deliver the requested and committed product increments. And they also consist the cross-functional members who are capable of achieving the sprint goals. And this could include anyone such as software engineers, architects, programmers, analysts, system admins, quality assurance experts, testers, designers, etc. Let's see some of the functions of the cross-functional team in an agile project. First of all, this consists of the developers who code and build the project. They work together and develop and deliver the requested product increments. They also design and test the products. And they release periodically the deliverable products on the regular basis. These potentially deliverable products are also called the increments because more features are added onto increments after each sprint or say the features increases in every sprint. They also decide how many items to put on the sprint and how to achieve these goals. So after the product owner prepares the backlog, the cross-functional team members select these and prepare and prioritize the sprint backlog with a plan to achieve the project goal. Now let's see how these roles come into play in an agile project management environment. So I have some tasks for you. The first question for you is, which of these roles comes into play when you have to convince the directors to increase the fund in the Agile project? Is it A, the team facilitator, B, the cross-functional team, or C, the product owner? You can think about it. Okay, the second question is, which of these roles comes into play when some works in the sprint needs prioritization? Is it A, the team facilitator, B, the team, and C, the product owner? The third question is, which of these roles comes into play to test whether the particular software is doing its designated role as asked by the customer? Is it A, B, or C? You can write your options to me through the messages. While I get a lot of messages, so I may not be able to check or reply all the answers or your requests. I will also post this question to the Facebook group. My Facebook group is the MyLean University, which I have created for the student support. Before ending this lecture, let me remind you to join MyLean University's premium membership and enjoy a total free access for a limited time inside MyLean University's online library and get tons of free courses, free books, and lecture topics on project management, Lean and Six Sigma, operations and supply chain, productive and preventive maintenance, quality maintenance, data science, industry and sales management, Agile and Scrum, Kaizen or continuous improvement, and much more totally free. No strings attached. As we have limited seats, only the early subscribers will be given open access inside the premium membership. And remember, it's totally free. Please subscribe and share the video if you share the common belief that professional education should be accessible to all.